Well, I think in today's video, we're going to get these greenies going a little bit, these unknowns. I think the plan is get some grease in them zerks and see what happens as far as do they take grease and can I blow the dirt and old grease that's in there out or do I have to eventually just take them apart? But I don't know. I've got them up off the ground here. Um, no grease or anything in them, but you can see this gang, I think with grease, they'll all turn they just need to move i just i think it's a situation where they just haven't moved and uh again if i can with any luck i'll be able to blow the dirt and old grease right out of it i think i can also throw a little heat on there and encourage it so let's get this hooked up to the h and get some grease in them zerks if we can There's a grease gun. There should be grease already in it. I'm not mistaken. Good way to test it. Uh oh. Well, I'll have to put another tube in that. Well, I'm out of grease tubes. Time to go buy more. Look, throw away lawnmowers for 1500 bucks. there's an auction at 10 a.m. in Meadville, Pennsylvania, and it captured my interest because there's a Super M for sale. Uh, they made those three years, 52, 53, 54. Uh, it's not the TA type. It's the more common version. I think they made about 57,000 Super M's total, and so I'm just going to go there and check it out. I do know it's a narrow front. In the pictures, it looks to be in good shape. Chances are I'll throw a bit on it. Um, and also a couple of Im implements, yeah, I can almost talk, that will be up for auction as well. One is an eight-foot set of international discs. The X factor is they didn't say if it was transport or drag. So that will be a major determinant. In fact, 100% whether or not I bid on that. But anyways, look forward to that preview. Hopefully I can get that loaded up Wednesday night, no later than Thursday night. And the Customer Appreciation Day, uh, Friday at WTC, it starts at 3 p.m. and not noon. 3 p.m., folks. Beep, beep. I'm digging that oil pressure. Uppy, uppy, up we go. Doo-dah, doo-dah. There we go. There we go. Slide you over. And, uh, yeah. I just realized I didn't bring a pin. I could just have somebody ride on the back here and hold their finger in there for the pin. Just get most of that off there, that glob. Like I say, you know, so, oh man, it's all outside the Zerk. Yeah, a lot actually went in that bearing. It really did. But not to my satisfaction. I want a Zerk to take grease and not fight me on it is what I want and what I want is what I'll get. I went out and got this torch oh, a while ago. A little turbo blue uh, wind resistant. It, it's not quite as powerful as le like a little propane torch would be but you don't need a lot of heat on these you know most of the time. Yeah you, know, you just get a little bit of heat in the base around that. Yeah that grease there is melting. No problem. A lot of times you just make them warm. Today's about 72 degrees out. And uh, get them nice and heated, get them nice and hot. And liquefy the old stuff that's in there. And then throw grease in it. Well, we're off to the races. And uh, we're gonna put this thing to the test. I did get some grease to go into that bearing, so I'm confident in the amount of disking, disco ducking that I'll be doing, it will be all right. There's the pasture I haven't burnt yet. I probably will not put that on video. 
Uh, those don't do so good on here anymore. Control burns, prescribed fires, whatever. Well, I just kind of... What I want to do is I want to start off in what's plowed first and see how it does there. And then turn around and uh, see how it does in the uh, unplowed. Because normally this ground, it's good enough. You know, it's work ground, so it doesn't have to be plowed. I like to turn the old crop under. Uh, I think you get a little bit better fertilization, but I don't know, either way. All right, regulators on now. You know, most of the time when I disc, uh, I'll, I'll tilt the discs front down a little bit just to get more of an aggressive dig, but I think here we just go even Steven um, and just see if we can get them to roll, because that's all I'm trying to do right now. Now that there's grease in the bearings, I'm just simply trying to get them to roll. And I know once they get turning and churning, and I use these a couple times and keep grease in there and use them and grease and use them, they'll loosen right up. All right, so. Yeah, we're dropping. And I'm just gonna go completely wheels up on this. Man, I'm sitting here cranking this thing. I'm like, wow, it got hard all of a sudden. I still got the transport chain in transport mode. So yeah, I gotta get used to using these things, man. All right, so we're wheels up, we're spinning, and that's good enough. Yeah, we spinning, spin to win, and we're just gonna putt along these. The front gangs are really what I'm concerned with. I know these ones, even without grease, were already spinning, so especially this one, that one turns nice. Uh, I checked all the scrapers. None of them are touching. So, I don't know. There's hope. There's always hope. Well, it's official. Regulators mount up. And I don't think we need to go very fast. I think, I think second gear is plenty just to see how they're doing. We'll just keep an eye on them. picking them up because all this needs just anyways. I'm not hitting the corners hard enough to do much damage, so. So far, so good. So far, they're international. Oh, I am going to get my butt kicked here, boy. It's big time. I am down in a deep, 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 deep furrow. I'm not disappointed, mark my words on that, at all. Um, this is the first pass and it, it did nice. I can see we're two passes and it's 
ready to call the mulch. Uh, nice garbage in the field there. But uh, yeah, it sliced and diced it nice. This was ready to disc. It had sat for, oh, probably three, four days. And uh, yeah, there's some clumps in it, but I think another pass, I'm good. And, and uh, huh, yeah, little disco duckers, 600 buckers, and they're paying off. Good tires, holding air, implement tires. Um, you know, somebody at one point in time, I don't know who brought this to the auction, but somebody at one point in time had themselves a good, nice little set of discs. That's what they had. One thing left to do, I gotta get the hydraulic cylinder on there. But yeah, pretty happy.